welcome to Devaliente Plays Chapter 3, Part 2 of 2064, ROM by Midboss. This is a game that was part of Humble Bundle's Bundle for Racial Justice and Equality. The following features violence, flashing animation, strong language, and graphic descriptions. Discretion is advised. Now, without further ado, let's get started. Market Street. Okay, I honestly do not remember what I am supposed to be doing at all. Don't bug it. It already seems to be in a stormy mood. <laughs> Can I get my card back? Is... Is Turing insulting another ROM? Are we allowed back in here? You're new. Oh, hey, it's you. Wow, long time. I do not remember who you are. Who's this? Oh, good. <laughs> I'm not supposed to remember you. <laughs> this is Keith, an old buddy of mine. Hey, not too old now. <laughs> You sound really old, dude. And you kind of look like, um, Steve Buscemi. <laughs> Did you manage to keep that plan I got you alive? Oh. Yes. Really? Nice job. I didn't <laughs> expect it to last a month. Listen. <laughs> it's great to see you, though. Sort of surreal, too. You're never around on social sites or anything, you know? I bet you didn't see any of the pictures I put up from my last climbing trip in Colorado. Sure didn't, Keith. <laughs> For a tech journalist, you do have pretty poor net presence. That's what I said. You're not helping, Turing. You're not helping. Figures. So, uh, what's with the bot? That's Turing, my, uh, my rom. Yours? Really? Huh. I didn't think you liked to bring work home, as it were. <laughs> anyway, it's great to see you. What brings you to the Hassie Bar? Doing a review of that sweet weather rom outside or something? Uh, or something. We're actually here on an investigation. All right, now that's the kind of journalism I'm talking about. Indeed, we're looking into some accusations made against Charlie Nova. And we're actually trying to build up a solid case against him. No shit. I actually may have exactly what you need. Oh, do you, Keith? How convenient. Charlie comes here all the time. You, you know that show he's host of, Star in the Stratosphere? That show where normal people try to become actors and singers and all. Listen to this recording I made when he was here last month on his book tour. So many people come up to me thinking that if they can sing or act, I'll just make them a superstar. That isn't how it works. Raw talent isn't enough to get you by it. And anyone who thinks so is lying to themselves. It takes hard work and persistence. You gotta want it. And want it to be bad. Kids, I get on Star of the My own Bag. It's not much, but it might help you build a case if you chop it up right. Just keep my name off it. I post hiking pictures, not scandal. Well, if nothing else, 
The threat of this dropping on the mesh should get them talking. Here, I, I just made a copy for you. Thank you. Anyway, I'd love to catch up soon. For now, I'll let you keep at it. You can usually find me here if you want to chat again. Thanks, Keith. Later. Say... Why did you tell Keith that I belong to you? Well, I do like you and I don't have a ROM of my own yet. It's more convenient that way during investigations. Look like... I think it's this one. Very fair. You may continue to run with that as your story with those who don't or shouldn't know the truth about me. Yeah, seriously. Anyway... This is pretty innocuous. We are going to need more evidence if we're to fabricate a believable story that will convince Mr. Nova it's in his best interest to help us. That guy's been there forever. Alright. Well, if it isn't the luckiest jerk I've ever seen in my life. I had to schedule a specialist to come fix my ROM, and you better hope they can. Oh well. All's well that ends well. I underestimated how much people would appreciate an early Christmas. Anyway. I, I was hoping you had some time to talk. Sure. I still have a little bit before closing, and I could use some conversation to distract me from the anticipation of the VR drama I have waiting for me when I get off. What do you want to know? Didn't Charlie Nova do promos for this place? Can you tell me about VR technology? What's the VR drama about? I mean, that's an important question for me. Charlie is a complete trip. <laughs> he met when he was just starting out doing adverts. He still drops in every once in a while to hang out. How nice of him. I love the guy. He's super funny, always has the best stories, and his hair is perfect. And he parties harder than anyone I know. A couple weeks ago, he invited me to this raid that's a hole that's probably already shut down, and he got so amped up on Crash that he jumped up on the table and hosted an impromptu dirty dancing contest. <coughs> I swear, if he was in Charlie Nova, we would have gotten chucked out on our asses, but it was a lot of fun. If you want to meet him, just hang around here long enough. He loves mingling with his fans. Not that it helps his ego any. Can you tell me about VR technology? You don't have internal hookups, do you? The older sets are all helmets that use electromagnetic waves to stimulate the neural pathways in your brain to induce the desired sensory input. Oh, that sounds terrible. It's pretty cool, though, which is why EM hats give you that dreamlike experience. It doesn't quite feel real. The direct link network has way higher fidelity. It's like actually being there. And since the direct link can interrupt your primary motor cortex, you don't have to take muscle relaxers to keep from flowing around. Why would you? Okay. But some people are still scared off by it. Uh, for good reason, apparently. Why is that? Well, it's pretty invasive. Yeah. They inject this smart polymer into the base of your skull, right at the brainstem, and it crawls yeah. along your primary neural yeah. pathways and bonds to your major sensory centers. No, thank you. It's been safe for almost a decade, but a lot of folks are still pretty skeeved out by the idea of having a bunch of conductive plastic coating in the inside of their brains. And down my spine and like all throughout my body. No. <laughs> Plus, for the 24 hours or so that is hooking everything up and self calibrating, you start to have intense hallucinations because of all the electrical crossfire. Yeah, I'm gonna pass. It's a trip, I'll tell you that. But no worse than the stuff people have been taking for a millennia. 
watching the world melt. Anyway, if you're looking to get installed, I have a guy who does great work. No, thank you. Just let me know. Cool. What's the VR drama about? Oh, it's an ongoing drama called Magical Commander Yakino. Kino at the gates to the deep. In it, you play the magical girl Yakino as she fights off elder gods as they arise from the ocean. <laughs> nice. It's a bit cliched and just about as silly as you would expect, but it includes some really interesting intersection between the Japanese magical girl trope and the American Cthulhu mythos. All with a pseudo military theme. <laughs> okay. In the newest episode, Yakino has to face off against the Yith as they try to inhabit the bodies of people in the present to escape their destruction in the past. Hold on. How do we know that their destruction in the past wasn't a direct result of them inhabiting the bodies of the people in the present? Like, they just completely wiped themselves out because they're, they're going to the present. How does a VR drama work? Is it like a video game? Eh, not really. Video games are about winning and manipulating the mechanics of the system to get ahead, right? Dramas are more about inhabiting the role of the character. There are rules, but they're mostly about behaving consistently in the fictional world. It's a bit like being an improv theater, except if you get too far out of your character, the system boots you out and you have to start the episode over. Everyone experiences the drama a little bit, but it stays broadly consistent because you have to maintain the behavior of your character. It requires you to really get inside the head of another person. I like it Sounds exciting. Maybe I'll look it up. It's the best. Super awesome. If you need any other suggestions, just let me know. I played through a little bit of everything. I'm sure I could find something you'd like. Maybe a detective drama. <laughs> anyway. Thank you for your time. Sure. Just let me know if you need anything. I'm always happy to help. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> you go for another. <laughs> nice. I haven't seen you around here before. Is there something I can help you with? I heard Charlie Nova hangs out around here sometimes. Uh, another one of his fans, huh? Yeah. Yeah, he comes here sometimes. You sound so I don't thrilled. Really why everyone likes him so much. What's your issue with him? Well, I have a picture from this time he flipped off a box of kittens. <laughs> okay. Somebody brought them to try to give away, and one of them scratched him up. He ended up taking it home, but he really hammed it up about getting scratched. I think he ended up calling him, uh, I think it was Captain Snuggles? <laughs> it was pretty funny, actually. I'll send you around the picture. <laughs> oh. Okay. This should be enough to get his attention. Frankly, I'm starting to feel a bit uneasy about this. Mr. Nova's clearly an upstanding individual, if just a bit boisterous. But I suppose if you're in for a penny, you're in for a pound. This should be more than enough anecdotal evidence to fabricate a less than flattering image of Mr. Nova that the public will eat right up. 
Let us present our story to him immediately. Hopefully our delay has not put him in physical danger. Yeah, about that, kiddo. Hey, you two. I think I'm gonna have to let security know that you're not allowed back in the building. Oh, well, oops. I've got some stuff that might change your mind about teaming up. F doubtful, but let's hear it. Never let it be said I didn't give someone a chance to dig their own grave. Has Charlie been having partying problems? Look at this. So what? I like to show people a good time. There's nothing wrong with that. Damn it, I told you to get off the crash, Charlie. Shit like this keeps coming up. I did. And besides, I wasn't doing anything illegal. Anyway, this is just pathetic. This is really your best attempt at blackmailing us? Not much of an animal. Hey, that's completely out of context. <laughs> and I love Captain Snuggles. <laughs> sure, we didn't get off to a good start, but he's a great cat. The best. Charlie, flipping off a kitchen? Why? <laughs> Whatever, this is still nothing but hot air. You need to step up your game, kid. Then how about, I bet the world would love to hear such an inspiring pep talk. Ha, huh, you're just grasping at straws. This speech was truly a beacon of light for the entire entertainment community. There's no way an original sermon like that is going to convince anyone that I'm a bad guy. Well, with some creative editing. You go public with this flimsy smear piece, I'm gonna tear you apart. Oh, enough, enough! I'm not cut out for this cloak and dagger game, Sympathy. What's the big deal anyway? It's not like they've got anything substantial to use. I might as well give them what they want, so they'll go away. Tell them whatever you want. I had to go through all of that. And I'll be taking that evidence. <laughs> you didn't have to do all of this. Really? I didn't? I would have helped if you had just asked. No, you, no. But it's always push and dig and needle, isn't it? Yes. I'm not a journalist. I'm just an anchor. I read off a teleprompter and look good doing it. I don't have much to offer you, but here's what I know. Trust me, I'd love to lay down some earth-shattering pronouncement and dazzle you with my investigative skills, but all I've got is flimsy threads at best. The thing is, all this stuff with my stories, Stuff getting changed, making me look like I don't like the human revolution or whatever. It started after I had an upgrade made to my VR upgrade project. Oh, what kind of an upgrade? The technically legal kind. <laughs> look, I like to have a good time at a party, right? But sympathy keeps hammering on me for pounding back too much crash and whatnot. Nothing illegal, but she says it makes me look like shit on camera the next day. Yeah. So I went to this guy I know. Good guy. Everyone uses him. He's called Nanya. <laughs> Nanya business. He does great work. After just one simple back alley brain surgery, bing bang boom. Excellent. I can use an app to make my VR uplink have the same effect on my brain that the stims do, without all the nasty physical side effects. It could be a coincidence, though, 
The tech guys didn't find anything wrong with my uplink, and they say the modifications check out. But that Nanya guy does a lot of work for media people around here. So if a bunch of posts are getting changed, maybe that's you with me. Anyway, that's it. Pretty flimsy, but I'll send you the address and you can go talk to you. <laughs> Nanya. If he'll even see you, that is. Thanks for the help. Well, we took far too long to get to it, but I'm quite happy to assist in any way that I can. Just make sure you source me in your article, right? Yeah, of course, always. Maybe run a rough draft past me and I'll give you some quotes. <laughs> I'm certain that'll help signal boost the story all the way to the stratosphere. I hate you so much. Give it the old Charlie no. Please stop button. talking. Maybe we can smooth end this out conversation. All this between us. Just end this conversation. Let Anyhow, me go. I really have to get back to work. Let me know how it goes with the murderous hacker thing. My rom Thanks. will call your rom. Awesome. Please let me go. Did you need something? No, I'm good. Cause now I gotta go talk to a guy about a thing. Oh my god. This looks like the spot. It looks like we walked into Street Fighter. I'm awfully nervous and still a bit shaken up. Let's hurry and get out of here. A box of stale looking donuts that's on the ground. A defiant young wrestler is leaning up against the brick wall. This wrestler is the powerhouse in the Neo SF Wrestling Federation's hot new stable, the Violent Wings. According to the Mesh, they're a group of highly ranked wrestlers who form up some sort of battalion. They don't form up some sort of robot. It's a cat. A large, a moderately large tabby, bask in its own self-satisfaction. Yes, seems very satisfied about being a cat. This is... this is genius! The contrast of the art's colors to the walls, the way the letters stretch out, not to mention the accented punctuation amplifying the outcry! <laughs> who are the junks, and to whom are they unworthy? Tough boy, it scribbled shoddily on the building in spray paint. It's not very illustrative. Isn't there a phrase people say when they see this? Omae wa mo shinderu. Sure. That's the one. God, bunch of weeaboos. Uh. Garage door, gated door. Heavy duty security door stands firmly shut. A metal garage door guards the side entrance. I think this is the place, but of course it lacks any appropriate signage. <laughs> Frankly, the state of this industry and the current political climate don't give me much hope for my own legal status. When word inevitably gets out about me. Regulation regarding cybernetic implants is a massive intersection between medical and tech industries. I'm rather surprised the Human Protection Act was even passed, but I suppose the possibility of hybrid genetics being passed on the offspring if there was a considerable push from biotech companies to the patent law the laws about cybernetics got passed on. Never mind. Investigation has been frustrating. Let's get in there and get this over with. Hold up there, Stevie. Um, excuse me? Oh, 
I've oh, only no. seen the two of you around here before, and I know everybody. Oh no. Why don't you let me know what's going on here first before you start barging through people's doors, feel me? I would like to not. Thank you. <clears throat> Hello? We're just here to speak to Nanya about something. Ah, ah, ah. Just got into town and you're already asking favors from folks, huh? Pisk, 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 my little blue friend. What? No, it's not like that. Listen, we don't want any trouble. I'm kind of in a hurry. Trouble? There's no trouble here. Really? We can be friends. Can we? For what price? <laughs> I like this one. You're a little more street smart than your blue bot buddy here, I see. I hope so. I am a journalist after all. No, I like you too. You're cool in my book. Are we? That was quick. And, since we're all such good friends now, maybe you'll be willing to give back to the community and do a favor for your new pal for Moolah first. Who? What kind of a big, what kind of a name is, uh, let's say that. You see, I'm a budding street musician. Are you? Working on my next big hit. Feel okay. me? <clears throat> but I'm sort of stuck on a few lines. I just gotta get these last few rhymes right. Okay. Maybe you could share a little of your creativity with me to see what we come up with. Okay. Uh, I need to be fun. Maybe we could try to help you out a little. Are you sure about this? Why not? We're not going anywhere. You know how important this has become. Yeah, I know. Time is of the essence. I'm aware. You don't have time to not help me. Yeah, honestly. Huh? What do you think would take longer? Helping an up and coming Cena songwriter finish a guaranteed worldwide hit? Or you could ignore me and maybe I'll send over an anonymous tip to the Neo SFPD. See, I know for a fact that everything inside this shop here is 100% legal. But I bet whatever you got in your mind sure ain't. Even if they didn't find anything, it'd take the rest of the day to iron out. People like you don't come down here for anything boring. I mean, I could. We clean up good. How well do you cover your tracks when you're in such a hurry, I wonder? This isn't good. If Lexi in particular gets suspicious and starts tracking us down, things will become rougher for us. Not to mention all the other people it could indirectly affect. This whole case is life or death. Huh. Kind of a dramatic run, maybe. You're like dropping words and it's upsetting me. But I made my point clear. If you don't help me out, I'll make sure you never get in to see Nanya at all. He's my buddy. Do me a favor or two so I return him when I'm asked. That's how we do things around here. Fine, we'll help you finish your damn song. I knew you'd see it my way. All you gotta do is help me complete my rhymes, you dig? Dig. A couple of them are just missing a word or two, but if I really want to make this song fantastic, I'm going to need some killer inspiration. Okay. It's going to be super cray. Anyway, 
You ready for this? Never. Let's do it. Gonna give it a shot? That's what I like to hear. Here's the first line I'm having trouble with. You ready? Keep, let's go. It's my favorite season, only comes once a year. I'll show you the true meaning of, uh, hang on a second. My holiday cheer. My favorite season only comes once a year. I'll show you the true meaning of my holiday cheer. Hey, yeah, that totally works. <laughs> sure, I'm glad you think so. Great idea, thanks a ton. Here's the next line. Ready? Pay no. attention now. If you bring mistletoe, you knock me off my guard. And if you want my number, I'll, I'll, um, punch a yard. Hmm. You know, for this one, I don't think words are gonna be enough. <laughs> I'm gonna need some inspiration to make it come together. Oh, gross. If you've got anything to show me that you think will help me out, let me know. I, I've got nothing. Take donuts. Wait, those are. Uh, sure. Why not? <laughs> Donut. <laughs> uh, uh, business card, brochure, shanky box of donuts. If you bring mistletoe, you knock me off my guard. But if you want my number, I'll give you my scones. No, those are donuts, dude. That doesn't rhyme, and why would I give him scones? I love my scones. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you totally threw off my style with that one. I'm gonna keep thinking, but let me know if you come up with anything new. Okay. Haven't you ever rapped before? No, <laughs> I haven't. Um. If you bring mistletoe, you knock me off my guard. But if you want my number, I'll give you my pamphlet. My card! That doesn't rhyme. Oh man, you totally... Shut up. I'm gonna keep I got, thinking. I, I figured it out. Do you even know how Just shut up? If you bring mistletoe, you knock me off my guard. But if you want my number, I'll give you my business card. Hey, that totally works. Really, thanks so much. I'll <laughs> never be able to write a song like this without you. Please take my donuts. A Christmas themed love song? Yes. They're everywhere, trust me. Aren't those supposed to be pretty tacky? They're they're always they're all of them, every single one. Alright, now I need your help with just one more line. I promise it's the last one. This one's been driving me up a wall. I hope you can tackle it as well as you did the others. Ready? Here we no. go. This is harmony. I think we're vibing the same tones. We can ride this beat with a nice pair of scones. Damn it! Scones. This is getting embarrassing. There's no way to salvage this one without some seriously fresh inspiration, yo. Don't lose hope. I'm sure it'll hit us any second now. I'm gonna give you donuts. Take my donuts. This is harmony. I think we're vibing the same tones. We can ride this beat with a pair of yummy Christmas scones. Yeah. Uh, he does know those are donuts, right? Shh, just shut up, shut up, shut up. You don't need to be now pretending. That's what I call a tasty beat. Oh, God. 
That was amazing. I can't believe you pulled it off. Whatever you do for work now, it doesn't matter. You should become a musician. No. We totally become rivals, and I bet you that... On second thought, you keep your day job. This is my territory. Do you hear me? No. I tried really hard not to. But you did help out in a huge way. So I guess you're cool. Go on in and see Nanya whenever you want. I'll just be chilling out here, soaking up the inspiration of my surroundings, baby. Here, you can keep the dust. Stones. <laughs> it was nice meeting you, for Moolah. Hey, you too, little Bob Blue. Oh, that's a cute name. Hey, that kind of rhymes. I mean, no, but it's cute. Did... Let's go. Yes, please, let's go. Hey. Oh. This looks like a mess. A colossal mess of tangled wires sprawls on the floor. Small panel on the wall belches out many loose stray wires. Maybe they're for powering the surgery equipment? Add screen. A thick, slightly opaque window makes it hard to see the finer details of the operating room, but you can still make out the basics. Table, stretcher, complex looking surgical equipment, and supply cabinets. It says surgery in progress. What is this? This is known as a CRT monitor. Almost <laughs> nobody still uses them anymore. They're very outdated. I'm generally surprised they didn't all, like, explode. <laughs> this guy is one of the most serious looking people you've ever seen. Nope. Too bad. Nope. Yep. Nope, I don't know you. Okay. You got someone willing to vouch for you? If not, get out of my shop. We just met Formula. He said we were cool. Charlie Nova said I could, should come and talk to you. Charlie? Yeah, I remember him. That TV guy runs his mouth a lot. Yeah. Paid good enough. All right, then. What can I do for you? Charlie said your name is Nanya. We have something important to ask you. Sure, if that's what you want to call me. <laughs> if your credit's clear, you can call me whatever you want. <laughs> Enough foreplay. What can I do for you? A fresh install, custom firmware, maybe an upgrade? How about some answers? I can pretty much do it all. But most people come in here for VR implants. I need answers. Turns out brain surgery is expensive, yeah? Yeah, apparently. We don't need surgery. We're here on a different kind of business. We're in a bad situation. Local news articles are being mysteriously altered after they've been posted to the mesh, even while the originals are still online. Charlie Novas are being manipulated as well, and he pointed us in your direction. It didn't start happening until after he had his implant upgraded. Do you know anything about that? What kind of parts did you use for Charlie Nova exactly? Have you had issues with the human revolution? What are you, cops? No, worse. You're journalists. Get the hell out of my shop! Ah, uh, frack. I have a business to run. I don't have time to answer shit about shit that don't got shit to do with me. You found the door before? Find it again. And tell Charlie he can get someone else to do him a rush job when he's back on stims and needs a workaround. 
He ain't welcome around here anymore. Give us a moment, please. I don't know about you, but I'm getting tired of being given a run around by these meat bags. We could just find some dry or black to get what we want from this mummy. But I think it's time to come to my ears and to my own hands. I have an idea here. Keep them off my hide for a few minutes. How should I do that? Just do what you normally do and ask questions. Nothing about the blog post, though. But we don't want to set him off. Just keep him talking. It'll only take a minute. Are you gonna get going, or am I gonna have to call someone to make you get going? I think we got off on the wrong foot, Nanya. Damn straight. Now get out of here! Listen. I didn't. We were just hoping to get some more background information on the kind of implant he has so we can follow other leads. Shit. Fine. Whatever. I'll tell you what you want. Within reason. Doctor-patient confidentiality and all that. Just promise me it'll get you out of my shop a little soon. Promise. Deal. Sorry for this. Our circumstances have gotten serious. We're following anything we can all the way to the end. There's no way to hack a VR implant like Charlie's. I mean, you can definitely install hostile firmware on one. But you can't just load whatever program you want without the user's knowledge. Any changes to the loaded firmware will trigger some really obvious visual indicators to let you know something's being changed. And those are put in on the hardware level. I've never heard of anyone being able to circumvent them. The only person who can load a hostile firmware on there is me. And don't try and go for it. I get paid too much to risk my reputation and change a few blog posts. Now the implant itself is not a very large decision. You have to use a headset with an induction coil for I.O. Wireless just doesn't have a band for it. You might be able to try and affect the ROM with some violence that screws with the I.O., but you only use a connection to a ROM for AR hubs. They can't handle full simulation. You'd need a full rig and a hardware connection to the net to do that. So, I did a bit of That's actually how it all happened. They probably would have found whatever infected his ROM way before you showed up here to bother me. Could it have just been faulty parts? Not to be too blunt about it, but this field of expertise is a little disreputable. Maybe your supplier sent you an implant with something fishy related. Look, I get it. I'm working out of an old auto garage in the bad side of town. But I'm a fully licensed cyber surgeon. This entire business is legitimate. It isn't illegal to install custom parts or firmware in any current generation implants. It just breaks the warranty. My business keeps a low profile, so we don't run into bogus patent infringement lawsuits from the flower cybernetics or whatever shell company they decide to come after you with. All of my parts are sourced direct from the original manufacturer, completely unbelievable. So if they're bad, they will go back to the factory. Now, is that all? I have a call this time. Thanks for your time. Yeah, whatever. You may not know this, but I have a finely tuned sense of electromagnetic fields. All ROMs do. We need to be able to maintain optical contact with the mesh. Catalog and use various wireless transmissions and avoid areas with dangerous interference. Your stock.
off the off the shelf ROM has very little demand due to the frequencies available to be scanned. But I'm starting to realize how very little it means that the stock or the off the shelf after the change has been made. That means when the humidity is low, the air fails. I'm not getting your point. Meaning, in layman's terms, I could read his monitor over his shoulder while being across the room. <laughs> you can read monitors without actually seeing them? Well, some. I doubt I could have handled an LCD monitor. They require extra parts I just don't have. And the fidelity is a bit low. Anyways, Nanya looked up his client records on Charlie, and I got some of the names of his other customers off of the spreadsheet. One in particular stands out, Shotaro Otsuka. That sounds funny. What's the relevance? Mr. Otsuka is a moderately prominent tech blogger, respected, perhaps a bit vitriolic, he catches my attention, though, because historically he has been very critical of Parallax in his posts. Recently, though, the tone has been increasingly moderate, and now he is almost effusive in his praise. His fans are accusing him of shooting the but many of his followers posts show some of the same things that we saw from how he's eyes and no uh, lead the way then. I've marked the location of Shitaro Otsuka's apartment on your map. After you. Well, I just told you to lead the way, so. Mr. Otsuka must do well for himself, considering the neighborhood. Not the priciest section of Neo SF, but nice enough for a self-employed tech blogger. Perhaps we should just ring the bell? I'm gonna talk to this person. We both know it won't be that easy, but it's important to maintain some courtesies. They're holding a colorful umbrella. Wish you had thought ahead of it like that. Hey, didn't I see you earlier at TMI? Potentially. Nice to meet you. I'm Sky. Hi. It's the door to Shotaro's apartment building. All you can see inside is a staircase. The gate is locked. You have to be buzzed in by a resident to get in. There's no front attendant to hear you. Cool. Gorgeous picture window with engraving and crown molding. Touch. The design is just slightly worn from weather and general outside hazard, but it's surprisingly good shape. My gym's closed this week for the holidays. Gonna see some family tomorrow. Proud of you. Did you know that palm trees used to be much more common? Almost a city staple? The trunk is prickled and rough as far as you can reach. What's shaking, tree? <laughs> it's another palm tree. Ooh. Looks like the building's fire escape. They call this the working person's balcony. <laughs> Shouldn't we try the doorbell before we break in? I touched it! Oh, oh, it's separate. The building's buzzer is just a layout of big buttons on panel, nothing too fancy. Greetings, guest. I am LJ2, Shacharo Otsuka's Raw. 
pleasure to meet you. You're really impatient, small fry. Little bot blue. <sighs> All right, third time's the charm, right? It ain't good. With feeling. <laughs> Greetings, guest. I am LJ2. Sh Shataro was not sorry for the. Ah, why can't this ever be easy? I swear I'll blow out a fuse before we're done. Thank Hayden for system redundancies. <laughs> ah, that's that. To the Let's fire see escape. see if we can find a way into Mr. Otsuka's apartment ourselves. Mr. Otsuka's apartment is on the second floor. Yes, and? The fire escape should give us access to his window. Yes. We just need something to let us reach it. I could just hold you up. <laughs> I'm sure there's some piece of detritus or loose end laying around we could use. Oh, that's how these things always work. Umbrella! You weren't prepared for the weather, huh? Your rum looks fancy enough to keep track of that. About that. You want my umbrella? Not for the weather. We need to use the hook handle to reach the fire escape ladder so we can pull it down. Oh, if you live here and lost your key card, huh? I totally understand. I do that all the time. But look, as much as, as, much as I love to be this umbrella, I'm kind of using it right now. Where I come from, see, we're all about to be trains. It's part of our culture. I'm gonna kick you in the balls. Is that an equal trade? Gym culture? Sorry, but unless you've got anything interesting to exchange for it, I'm gonna hold on to this. Don't wanna get wet. Those guys are gross. Are you a part of that? No. Oh, you're not? Then let's not talk about it, okay? Hey, is this real? The real Yannick Fairlight? You know him? Of course I do. He's one of the most innovative tech minds of the last few generations. Can I please have this? I'll give you the umbrella. Yours to keep if you want. I think it's a fair trade. <laughs> Thanks. Here you go. This is so exciting. I'm going to go call him right now. Oh, God. What have we done? Call him? Hmm. Maybe that wasn't the best idea. Well, he didn't like any of our other now options. Our tool and a pretty spiffy one at that. Let's go. Excellent work. Plenty of light, apparently. This window is unlocked and open! 
This window is unlocked. Let's go in. Ugh, what's that smell, Turing? I'm not sure. My olfactory sensors detect chemicals associated with decaying food and something else I can't pin down. A dead body. It's unfamiliar to me. Um, uh, not okay. Special report. That's better. <laughs> what is that? Let's take a look around. Old greasy bag of toe and fro. A fast food chain the state is famous for. Flies are circulating like vultures. It called itself LJ2, right? Speakers, amp, books. Shotaro must be plugged into the mesh. He hasn't even noticed us. I think he's dead. I feel like I could scream without him knowing. Mr. Otsuka! Nothing. Ah, hello, guest. Hi. Chitaro has been a bit under the weather recently, so he has not been receiving anyone. I think Chitaro's dead. He is trying very hard to keep up with his deadlines, but I will check and see if he has a moment to speak with you. We just checked, and he seems busy. Is there anything else I might assist you with? A drink, perhaps? How long has your owner been ill? Is your owner still making blog updates? When was your last diagnostic check? Shotaro has been under the weather for some time, but I could not tell you precisely when. That's weird. He rarely has visitors or goes on outings, so this is only slightly abnormal behavior for him. In There's fact, a dead you were the first chair. visitor he has had in a while. I don't like that you don't know exact dates. Several days, in fact. Perhaps you could ask him about it yourself. I will check and see if he has a moment to speak with you. I run regular self-checks and have noticed no irregularities in either my hardware or software. Are you sure? I appreciate your concern. If you think I am behaving erratically, perhaps you could mention it to Shitaro. He is skilled at maintenance. Hmm. Is your owner still making blog updates? He is. Shitaro is a diligent man, even in the face of such adversity. Huh. If you are a reader of his work, his next significant piece will be going online tomorrow. I will not spoil it for you. Uh -huh. No, that's okay. Very well. Let me know if you need anything. I'm always happy to assist. Uh-huh. Um. Yeah, you're dead. Oh, no. You're very dead. You're too late. Has he been here? It looks like he's been here for a couple of days, maybe a little longer. That means whoever did this did it before we even found out about all of this. Stabbed in the chest, right through the back of the chair. It looks like it severed his carotid artery. I don't want to make any assumptions, but. I can't help but wonder if this was done by the same person who assaulted Zin. This Rom doesn't even think anything is wrong. We need to hurry. If I'm right, everyone we've talked to so far is in more danger than we thought. Someone is following us. We have to find his computer so I can see if I can pull anything relevant off of it. 
interrogate his wrong. <laughs> Maybe you can find out why it's acting so strange. Okay. Uh what's up, little dude? Chataro has been a bit under the weather recently, so he has not been receiving anyone. The fan is very dead. He is trying very hard to keep up with his deadlines, but I will check and see if he has a moment to speak with you. That's okay. We'll wait. Is there anything else I might assist you with? A drink, perhaps? Chitaro is dead, L2J. LJ2. J2. I think we just broke a robot. It shut itself down again. Yeah, not okay is a good thing. Let's see if we can pull some useful information off of Mr. Oatska's computer. If we can find it. It's touch sensitive. The entire desk must be Mr. Otsuka's computer. I'll start downloading these files. I finished my examination of Mr. Otsuka's computer. I didn't find anything particularly interesting, but I copied some files to be examined later. If we're all done here, we should hurry and go warn Nanya about what we found. Mm -hmm. Sympathy too. They might be in immediate danger, so we must act fast. Let's head for Nanya's business. Okay. Le yes, leave through. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else. So back to Nanya's. Shit! What the hell are you doing back here? Dude, calm Wait, down. Let me guess. You stole some of my files, or hacked my brain, or used telepathy or some shit. Found out someone else got hit by your little ghost in the machine, and when you got there, found out he was deader than New Disco. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Close enough? Yeah, that's very accurate. Um. That is distressingly accurate. Well, it wasn't much of a damned guess. Charlie Nova is dead. Oh! Um, who gets his cat? What? Charlie is... The auto cab he was in drove him right off the bridge and into the bay. Oh! been all over the news for the last 10 minutes and I'm not looking to be next I'm getting the hell out of Neo SF and I'm gonna forget that I ever saw you ever knew Charlie ever gave a shit about any of this hell maybe I'll pick up a new career I'm less likely to get murdered for being a fry cook that's for damn sure well I mean depends on how badly how bad of a cook you are have a good life! Oh no! No, 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 no! Why is this happening? There was no one in that car! No heat signatures, no wireless emissions, nothing! That wasn't even an auto cab! It's a manual! How is that even possible? I don't know! I don't know, I don't know, I don't know! That's it! This is too much! I've had enough! I don't care who's controlling the news anymore! Almost everyone we've talked to so far has died, and I can't live with any more blood on my hands! We're not investigating this lead any further! As of right now! 
It's not our fault, Turing. <sighs> Logically, I know that. We haven't set out to harm anyone. But someone is using us as a stalking horse, hiding behind our investigation to clean up whatever this is. If they want to keep taking out people involved in this, they're going to have to dig them up without our help. We don't have any other leads anyway. Thank you for sticking with me, though. We have more pressing avenues and inquiry to make. Let's move on. Thank you for joining me for Chapter 3, Part 2 20, of 2064 Rob. Chapter 4 will be out shortly. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment letting me know what you like down below. Please no hate or spoilers as I'm not above removing those comments and the people who make them. That's all for now, folks. I'll see you next time.